husband, she didn't know her father. So she needed love. And so when my sister and myself went fighting for my mother's lap, my mother would push us away because she never had love in her own heart for our own children. And so I yearned for love. I searched for love. I looked at men in my community, those who had a fatherly attitude towards their children, and I wish that was me. But as time went by, I decided to search for love in the wrong places. You know what I mean. And I can remember, the devil can set you up in such a way. He knows the things that you really want. And what he did when I left Garden Town and I came to Kingston, I found an elderly man. And because I was so drawn to older men, I wouldn't say I had a passion for older men, but I had a preference for older men. And when I got in the arms of this man, this man would take me to the supermarket. And the most important thing to me then was pushing a trolley, pulling up the trolley with food kind, meat kind. My fridge was full, but my heart was still yearning. I had this man, but my heart was still yearning. And the long and short of it that this man knew that I didn't have any interest for him. Because when he touched my body, it felt like a snail crawling all over me. And I knew that this was not for me. And so, he pulled a gun at me one day because he realized that I took his material things, but I didn't love him. And so I went on again, searching, searching, empty, looking for attention, looking for everything that I can get, and I could not find it. I found myself in the Rastafarian religion, and because that religion was one love, it attracted me. And I went in there, God had me there, for 22 years. And I really thought that I was satisfied. But then after 22 years, I discovered that I was so unfulfilled. I realized that the carpet was pulled from under my feet. And I needed something else. I didn't know where to turn. And so, I have five children. And I have problems in my family. And inside of those problems, and I want to let you know, that the search that I have been searching, God has put a void in our lives. And there is no one can fill that void. There is no man, there is no boyfriend, there is no money, there is no material thing that can fill that void, void, but Jesus Christ. Yes. And so, in all my search, in all my I was still empty until a serious situation took place in my life and then I realized I realized I said and then I was a Rasta woman I saw Selassie as the return Messiah because I was taught that but then I realized I came to the crossroads and I said God I really don't know you and I want you to reveal yourself to me if you are Selassie, if you are Jesus Christ, I need you now. And everything in that 22 years just went under the bridge. And two weeks after that, somebody gave me a cassette. And I was on tour and I was listening to the cassette. And the cassette was an interview of His Imperial Majesty, the man that I saw as God Almighty. And the person why is it that people say that you are the return Messiah? And he said, I am a mere man. And I will be replaced by the oncoming generation. And a human being should not be emulated for a deity. In other words, don't see me as God. And I just want to say to you, we're living in an economical crisis. There are a lot of single mothers who have young girls and cannot take care of them. And sometimes you have mothers 
who send their children to be with older men because of material rewards and gains. But I just want to let you know that Jesus Christ obligates himself. God obligates himself to be your provider. It doesn't matter what you don't have. You don't need a sugar daddy. You need God as your daddy. And it can be if you allow him. If you say yes to Jesus. If you say, Father, I have sinned and confess your sin. And he comes in to live on the inside. I want to let you know there's nothing that you will ever need. He'll take you through school. He'll take care of the school fee. He'll take care of all your needs. He can satisfy every need because the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want because he is our provider. And I just want to let you know that God loves you with an everlasting love. You know, I didn't know that God loved me. I just real, I realized when I gave my life to God, the great and passionate love that God has for us. And so if you want to be passionate and you want to be pure, God can put that inside of your heart. He can place the passion for Him. Just say yes to Him this evening. For these two words, I give thanks.